Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mikey Pipes. And guess who's sitting next to me this morning? If you guys want to take a guess. Five, four, oh, I forgot, I won't keep you in suspense. <laughs> Steven, so technician apprentice Steven, AKA Godzilla, sitting in the passenger seat where Calvin would normally be. Yes, sir. I would like to really thank all of the subscribers, the 24 percenters especially, we're almost at 4,200 subscribers. Literally on New Year's, 11 days ago, not even just a hair under 3,000. 1,000 subscribers in less than 10 days. Sick, sick. So I'm sure you guys are gonna love this video. We're going on the first service call of the day. It's 7.20 in the morning, Monday morning, January 11th. In one mile, complaint. turn left. The customer's complaint is that there's a burning smell coming from the boiler. Mmm, burning smell coming from the boiler. So you know I'm gonna get some good shots of this and uh, add those key words to the title. Boom, fire, bang, explode, you know. <laughs> it's not bait click, it really does happen. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, got a Lennox. Burning smell coming from furnace. It's not that dirty, pretty clean. Right. Wait for it to kick on. It's spark ignition system. I should have done something already. We have to jump through it. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's double check the thermostat. And sure enough, a few seconds later, it kicked on. You know what, on the thermostat, uh, the fans are uh, on instead of auto. All right, we got ignition. Probably a bad cap or bad blower motor. One of the two. I'm gonna find out in a second. He said when it runs, it puts out smoke in the whole house. It's an old Lennox. Doesn't even have an inducer motor, just... Yep. There we go. Let's see if I can... Nothing there. All right. Let's get the uh, voltmeter. Look at that. See, it closes damper door in the combustion chamber. Let's Are test for continuity. I mean, uh, we'll test this capacitor. We'll get the needle nose too and short that out. And might as well take the drill too. And let's get a, uh, actually, let me just get a 516, regular 516s, because I'm not gonna be able to get that on there. Five. We'll put a meter to read those bad boys. Steven's gonna hold the iPhone, shot the iPhone 12. And mm -hmm. if you take a look at that, we're at 1.3. So we know we have a bad capacitor. Yep. Hopefully that's the only case here. So we're gonna go to the truck and get a 7.5 capacitor. All right, Steven's got the new 7.5. One-handed mic. Stephen will hold the phone. One-handed mic is not on his game today. It's on his Monday. It's Monday. All right. Now, because of the burning smell, right, we know that there's potential damage to the blower motor windings. So we're going to also test amperage before we're done. So turn this back on. We're going to hold this down. We're going to wait and see what happens. So I'm just waiting for temperature rise and the high limit plenum sensor to tell the 
control board to power the motor. So we'll see what happens in a second. There we go. Look at that. And we're good. So we're just gonna test amperage now. Cross high and low. And see what that is. I have to uh, go get my uh, amp meter. It's not here. Calvin what lost it. <laughs> but there you have it. Now we're just gonna test uh, combustion next. Next, Steven's gonna set up the Testo 320, and we are gonna stick our probe inside there. But let me uh, turn this off. Let's get the door back on. See, that's pretty cool. Did you want this in here, or did you want this back in here? Oh, that. How are you keeping there? Oh, that's a that's a different one. Oh, okay. That's one. See the end? Yeah, yeah. Has no, it has a different end. Has a black little thing? No. No. Oh, then Kelvin put it in there by mistake. But you can leave it in there. That's okay. fine. Get my probe right in there like that. We're gonna watch the oxygen, especially on this older furnace. Looks like our heat exchanger is good. Now listen, she's an 80% furnace. You know, still letting that run for a little bit, but you want the system to run for about 10, 15 minutes. Check these numbers, so stay tuned. Get to the results. 540 stack temperature, by the way. It's from here, it's from 1994. When Loco first inspected it. And looks like every year, there's a gap there. Place ignition module, like they did a draft check. She's working and safely. Got high stack temperature though, 540 degrees. But my gross efficiency is still 80%. She's an 80 percenter. So that was an easy service call. Don't you think? Yeah. That's yeah. So I told him that you know there may be a premature failure with the blower motor. You know, it's not warranted to replace it right now because it checked out all right, but that burning smell came from the windings of the motor. So if you got something from this, you learned something from this, and all you techs out there, you know, make sure you write down what you took off the truck. That way you can replenish your stock. And um, that was a 7.5 cap on that Lennox blower, on that Lennox furnace. So Steven will write that down. End of the day, we'll replenish from stock. In, the in 0 0.1 miles, keep right. If you like and this then, video, turn right. Oh, shut up, Wayne. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to support this channel. Thank you very much. Off to the next.